Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and in this class we are going to understand difference between hanging and strangulation. So we are already done with these two topics, hanging and strangulation and in this video we are focusing on important differences between these two types of asphyxial deaths. Okay, so here we have made a table. So in this table the first one is telling about the traits and characteristics then we have hanging so in hanging we have these characteristics and in strangulation by ligature so please focus here ligature is present in strangulation this is strangulation by ligature hanging itself it is used with some um, material which is like people used to help to hang themselves up and then we have traits so first one is ligature mark so in case of hanging ligature mark is oblique so this is the first point and it does not completely encircles the neck so it does not completely encircles the neck because it is usually seen high up in the neck between the chin and larynx so in between the chin and larynx there is a point where we do not see the mark okay so the base is pale in case of hanging and it creates hard parchment like thing okay so this is about hanging now moving to strangulation by ligature it is transverse and it completely encircles the neck below the thyroid cartilage very important below the thyroid cartilage so there is a complete encircle of the ligature which is transverse and near like it is below the thyroid cartilage and the base is soft and reddish okay here the base was very hard and pale and parch parchment like but in case of strangulation by ligature it is soft and reddish then second point we have i will mark one here and then two here aberration anachromosis so about the edges of ligature mark marks are not common which type of marks aberration marks and acamosis marks this is not common in hanging but in ligature with stri like ligature strangulation the marks are more common around the edges of the ligature then we have bruising on the neck muscle which is less common in case of hanging we can see uh, we m m sometimes okay sometimes we see uh, like bruising around the um, neck muscles but in case of ligature strangulation muscles are bruised commonly okay then we have this is this was third and this is fourth neck okay so neck is stretched and elongated in case of hanging and in case of ligature strangulation there is no stretched things or no elongated mark okay then we have first one sixth one subcutaneous tissues of neck so hard white and glistening under the mark so near the mark near the ligature mark in case of hanging we can see white hard and glistening appearance of subcutaneous tissues and in case of ligature by strangulation it is acamosed under the mark okay Next, we have hyoid bone in case of hanging. The fracture is visible in hyoid bone. Fracture is there in hyoid bone. But in case of ligature strangulation, there is, a no, um, there is no fracture in hyoid bone. Then we have thyroid cartilage in case of hanging. Fracture is less common in thyroid cartilage. Okay. And in case of strangulation by ligature, fracture is more common in thyroid cartilage. So in hyoid bone, in hanging there is a fracture and in strangulation it is not very common in case of thyroid cartilage hanging we do not see a fractures but in case of ligature strangulation we can see the fracture then we have larynx uh, larynx and trachea fracture is really very rare and in case of ligature strangulation fractures may be found near ligature or in ligature or trachea then we have carotid arteries it is the damage in case of hanging okay and in case of ligature like, strangulation, carotid arteries are um, like damaged rarely. Then we have face. So usually in case of hanging, face is pale and petechial hemorrhage is and sorry and patches were not so common. Okay. It is usually pale in case of hanging, face is pale, but patches are not very common. 
In case of ligature strangulation, the face is congested and livid mark of patches are present in the face. Then we have signs of asphyxia. External signs of asphyxia is really very marked in case of hanging. But in case of ligature strangulation, external signs are well marked. Sorry, this is less marked. This is not marked in case of in case of menulta bodhya. So I just like made a mistake here that um, in case of hanging, it is less common. Signs of asphyxia are less common. And in case of ligature strangulation, signs of asphyxia are really very marked when we compare of course hanging is a hanging is an asphyxia of death but when we compare hanging to strangulation strangul in case of asphyxial signs strangulation have more marked signs and symptoms then tongue in case of hanging it is swelled and produce protrusion is less marked in case of strangulation produce protrusion is marked and swelling is there of course then we have saliva, menstruated saliva. So in case of hanging, it runs out of mouth. And in case of like it's a strangulation, it is completely absent. Then bleeding. So in case of hanging, we might see bleeding from nose, mouth and ears, which is not common. But in case of strangulation, like it's a strangulation, we can see bleeding in nose, mouth and ears, which is very common. Then we have involuntary discharge. So discharge of feces, urine, etc. is less common in case of hanging. But in case of ligage strangulation, we can see involuntary discharges as well. Okay. So these are few points. How many points? One, two, six. Then we have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and 16. So on the basis of these 16 points, we have already differentiated hanging and strangulation by ligature. I hope this lecture is helpful to you. If this lecture is helpful, like this video, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for more such videos. If you haven't subscribed our channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to put comments. Okay, I will see those comments. And if you have any question, query, or doubt, you can comment as again as well. And if you want to uh, like say anything about this topic, any knowledge, any any point of knowledge you have, you want to share, please comment it down. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. Have a great day ahead. Take care of yourselves, and see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.